Hi again, Risa here back with another episode of Ask Risa. This is my weekly video series where I discuss some common wedding planning questions and problems that you might be having. There are a lot of other videos in this series. You can find them all on my YouTube channel under Risa James Events, and they're all grouped together in a playlist to make it easy to find them. This week, I wanna talk about hotel room blocks and how to set them up. This is a service that I provide to my full planning clients, but if you aren't working with a planner or if you've just hired a coordinator, then you're probably going to need to do this yourself if you do in fact need hotel rooms. So if you have a fair number of guests who will be coming from out of town for your wedding, it's nice to set up a room block at one or two local hotels so that they don't have to hunt for a hotel on their own. You can just point them in the right direction. So the place to start is just by finding some hotels that are close to your venue, because that makes it easier from a transportation standpoint, whether you're providing group transportation or your guests are driving themselves to and from the wedding, it's nice if their accommodations can be close by to the venue, especially at the end of the night when everybody just wants to come and go to bed because they're tired from partying all night. So once you've figured out which hotels you're interested in, and you might need more than one, if you have a lot of people who will be coming from out of town, you might wanna do room blocks at more than one hotel. And I'll explain the reason why in just a minute. So you wanna to talk to someone at the hotel. So when you Google whatever hotel, you don't want the 800 reservations number that comes up because that's just gonna take you to a central location. You wanna to talk to someone who's actually at the physical spot in the city or town where you are trying to make this room block. So you want a local phone number. You wanna make sure you're calling the phone number that has an area code that matches with the city where you're trying to make the room block, not the 800 number. And an operator or someone will still answer the phone at that number. So just tell them you want to set up a group room block for a wedding and they will transfer you to the right department. Usually it's something like group sales or catering and events or something like that. And that'll be the person that you want to talk to. So then that person will ask you a couple of questions that you might not know the answer to, which is why I'm here making this video. The first thing they're going to want to know is whether you want to do a guaranteed room block or a courtesy room block. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna to wanna to do a courtesy room block. A guaranteed room block is what it sounds like, it's guaranteed. So if you want to set aside 20 rooms, the hotel, assuming they have 20 rooms available, will take those out of circulation and those rooms will be for you and your group. And you will have to give the hotel a credit card. And if only 15 of those 20 rooms are booked by your guests, then you're paying for the other five rooms because you've guaranteed those rooms to the hotel. Whereas with a courtesy room block, it's just a courtesy. They will set aside some rooms. They generally put a limit on it for a courtesy block. You generally can't set aside more than 10 rooms, which is why you might need more than one hotel room block if you're going to need a lot of rooms. If they set aside 10 rooms, and all 10 of those get booked, you might be able to add more on to, <clears throat> sorry, to your room block if they still have availability, but there's no guarantee that they will. So it's nice to have your, your rooms spread out over a couple of different hotels. So with the courtesy block, they will set aside the 10 rooms and they'll tell you there's a deadline. Your guests have to book by this date to get this rate and to get one of these rooms and after that date, these rooms go back into general circulation and anyone can book them. It's the way, it's the way that the hotel just covers all their bases because hotels want to be sold out all the time. If they have empty rooms, they're losing money. So they will usually, often it's 30 days before your wedding. Some hotels will go as many as like two weeks before or even one week before, just depends on the hotel brand. So you wanna make sure that you know what that booking deadline is because you're gonna to wanna to put that on your website and make sure your guests are aware of it. Tell your guests, you have to book by this date to get this special rate in our group block. Um, the other main question that the hotel will ask you is what kind of rooms you want. I like to do a mix. I usually do half king bedded rooms and half double queens. That way, if someone's traveling with children, they can stay in a room that has two beds, the kids in one bed, adults go in the other bed, or if you have friends who are gonna be traveling in for the wedding and maybe they wanna share a hotel room, they can get a room with two beds. It just gives your guests a little bit more flexibility. So um, 
once you've worked out whether you're doing a courtesy or guarantee and how many beds and what kind of configuration you want, then the hotel will they'll send you a contract to be signed and then they'll give you a link that you can put right on your website and that link will take people directly to a special portal of the hotel website where the discounted group rate is already built in and the, the computer reservation system knows that it's part of this group that you've set up, they can make their reservation online, super easy. The hotel will also probably give you an actual code. It's usually some sort of combination of the couple's last names. And that code is for people who want to phone and make their reservations over the phone. They can call in and say, I'm part of the, the Weaver room block and then the hotel reservation agent can make the reservation and give them the properly discounted rate. One thing I will say about discounted rates, yes, the hotel will certain, almost certainly give you some sort of discount for setting up the group block. Probably won't be a stellar discount. They're not usually that much. And I've definitely seen situations where you could find a better rate just on the internet on travel websites or things like that. So if your guests are especially travel savvy, they might just make a reservation on their own anyway uh, because they can get a better rate or maybe they have uh, rewards points from a chain that you didn't choose. So they might make their own reservations that way. So there's a lot of ways that people can make their own reservations and not necessarily go through your room block. But all that being said, it's still a nice gesture to your guests to have one set up and you know for the people who you think might want to use it you should definitely encourage them to book early like as soon as you have the room block set up so that they can take advantage of it um some hotels will give you a complimentary night stay if you book enough rooms so if you book all 10 rooms then maybe they'll give you a free night you can use that for your wedding night usually if you want to stay at the hotel on your wedding night or if you don't need to or want to spend the night at the hotel on your wedding night, you could use it for the night before your wedding. So if you're getting married on a Saturday and you need to have hair and makeup done and you need a place to do it, then you could stay at the hotel Friday night, you've got the room. And then Saturday morning, your hair and makeup artist can come, your bridesmaids can come, you can do hair and makeup. Because otherwise, you know, check-in time for hotels isn't until the afternoon. It's not until like two or three o'clock and that's gonna be way too late to start hair and makeup. So if you need that space for hair and makeup, it can be useful to have the room the night before. Not all, hot not all hotels do the complimentary night and they'll probably mention it to you if they do, but it's worth asking about just in case. It's just something good to know that is available out there. Um, and I think that's all I have to say about hotel room blocks. So. It's not hard to do, it's just knowing some of the terminology and knowing how they work is really useful if you're doing this for the first time. But if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and you will be notified of future videos. I release these every Wednesday. So until next week, I will talk to you later. Bye for now.